Today, hope you're doing great. Um, I want to make a quick video uh, about fuel cards. Um, I talk to about 100, 150 different carriers on a regular basis that I work with. And I wanted to go over fuel cards with you real quick in terms of some tips and some tricks to things to keep in mind. Um, when it comes to fuel cards, um, there's like 500 different fuel cards out there. Um, and they're all different. They're all different. And I wanted to bring it to your attention because there's sort of two details that I wanted to bring up. Um, you have to be careful for fuel card companies that are calling you, telling you that, hey, you need to get our fuel card to, um, to use over the road. A lot of these fuel card companies, uh, they operate as a bait and switch. And what I mean by that is they'll call people up and say, hey, you know, you need to use our, our fuel card. It's the it's the greatest. I, I My company is a fuel card. It's okay. There's better ones out there. I'm not going to recommend mine. If there's a better product, I'm going to recommend a better product. That's what I would want somebody to do for me. So, duh. But what the fuel card companies don't tell the carriers, like yourself, is that you just signed up. For a fuel card and you got it in the mail but then after i don't know 15 30 45 days you realize you know what this is getting really annoying waiting to get a check in the mail for the loads that i'm doing i want to start factoring my loads um i'm i'm gonna sign up for a factoring company and uh, which you should sign up for a factoring company before you even turn the keys to get going your first day but some people do it that way uh, i don't know why um it's unfortunate because uh, they're waiting on their cash flow. But what these carriers have found out, trucking companies have found out, is oh, they got, a, they got, they got their fuel card, yippee. Uh, now they want to sign up with this factoring company or that factoring company or me, my factoring company. And they realize, oh shoot, I can't sign up with that factoring company because this fuel card company, they, they also indirectly, without telling you, signed you up for their factoring program. And they didn't even tell the carrier. Happens every day of the week. Every day of the week. A carrier signs up for a fuel card. And then also they didn't realize that they signed up for factoring because nobody told them. And then when it comes time for them to pick their factoring company, they already got a fuel card and they got factoring. But they didn't realize that they got factoring. They didn't want them for factoring. But now they're stuck with them with a garbage customer service, really high payment rate, turnaround time could be... Some, sometimes some crummy factoring companies out there, like with us, if you deliver the load, we can pay you the exact same day. Or we can pay you the next day at 8 a.m. in the morning when your bank opens up. Some factoring companies, they don't do that way. You deliver a load on Monday and you submit your paperwork, they pay you on Friday. They just pay you at the end of the week. You submitted the paperwork today, you want to get paid today, we, G Squared Funding, we pay the carrier immediately. 24 hours or less, same day or less. So yeah, that sucks for the carriers. They realize, oh, they got a they got a fuel card. The fuel card isn't even that great. And then all of a sudden they're stuck with them for factoring too. They didn't even want that and it wasn't even discussed. So it's a bait and switch. It happens five days a week, every day, every week. Um, it's unfortunate, it really is for a lot of carriers that get taken advantage of um, by people not being clear and direct, providing accurate information. That's garbage. Treat people the way you want to be treated. It's real simple, but apparently uh, a lot of people don't uh, know what that means or have never heard it before. Anyway, um, second thing that I wanted to bring up real quick is the, with the fuel card, the, you have your to-do list of things that you need to do, all, all this stuff to get your trucking company up and running um, and before you get on the road. The fuel card it needs to be the last thing on your to-do list. There's going to be people calling you left and right. Hey, you should have our fuel card. Hey, you should have our fuel card, our fuel card. It's the last thing that you need to do. In fact, you should be over the road driving for maybe 15 to 30 days before signing up with anybody for a fuel card. Use your American Express, get the cash back, figure it out that way. If you need multiple fuel cards, you can get multiple fuel cards, um, but the fuel card is the last it's step number Z. It's the last one, the bottom of the list. That's the last thing that you should be doing before you get on the road. Um, but anyway, hope this video was educational, helpful. 
just tips and tricks. There, there's, there are little um, details that this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, they, they add up. They really, really do. If you're able to streamline a process and do things more efficiently, why not? Why not? But anyway, I don't want to turn into me rambling. Hope you have an awesome week. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.